Hey guys, what is up? This is James and welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to talk about how you can use audio enhance feature in Adobe Premiere Pro effectively. So when we use that feature to make our audio a little bit better, it doesn't work perfectly every single time. Sometimes it makes our voiceover a little bit muffled and whenever you are dealing with the noise, suppose I live just beside a highway, if I just open my window, now you will hear a lot more traffic noise, right? So if you're recording your audio in this kind of scenario, how you can use the enhanced feature in Adobe Premiere Pro effectively? Let's learn it today. So I have already transferred the video clip here in Adobe Premiere Pro. I'll put a link in the description. If you want to play with the video file, you can do that, right? So here is the video file. I have already placed that on my timeline. If I play it back without enhancing the audio, it will sound like hey guys what is up this is james and welcome to a new video today i'm going to talk about how you can use audio enhance feature in adobe premiere pro effectively so when we use that feature to make our audio a little bit better it doesn't work perfectly every single time sometimes it makes our voiceover a little bit muffled and whenever you are dealing with the noise suppose i live just beside a highway if i just open my window now you will hear a lot more traffic noise right so if you're recording your audio in this kind of scenario how you can use the enhance feature so that is the portion where i have opened my window and i'll focus on that part more right so if i play it now back you again hear a you can see a lot of noise going out here so to now apply the audio enhance you have to go to window and there you'll see essential sound if you click there you'll see a window just like this one so you can just click on auto tag it will tag the audio automatically as a dialogue or what you can do you can just select the video clip and then you can tag it as a dialogue right so i have tagged it as a dialogue now you'll see a option called enhance speech if you click there then adobe will enhance the audio automatically first time it will take some time as i have already tested that clip so it will not take time when you try after the first time right so here you can change the mix amount if you drag the slider to the right side it will apply more enhanced uh, effect and if you drag the slider in the left side it will have less enhanced effect right seven percent so now if i play it back now you will hear a lot more traffic noise right so you can see the traffic noise gone a little bit but not perfectly again if i just drag it all the way to the right side now if i play it back it's right so if you're recording your audio in this kind of you can see the roadside noise is magically gone but it has changed the signature of my voice the voice is not sounding natural right if i play it back again so if you're recording your audio in this kind of scenario how you can now the question is how you can make it a little bit natural so that you can use that clip right so to make it natural, you can use the features from this uh, essential sound, like you can add some clarity. If I click here, I can add clarity. Now, if I play it back, so if you're recording now your if I audio increase the in dynamics, this kind of scenario, how you can use the enhanced feature. Again, I can add EQ. And if I click and drag this EQ slider, it will add more EQ effect. So there are some presets so here i will select podcast voice or vocal presence i will select podcast voice first now if i play it back right so if you're recording your audio in this kind of scenario how you can use the enhance or if i want to try the vocal presence so if you're recording your audio in this kind it of it has made the voice over a little bit good but not that perfect so i'll not use the eq or dynamics from here I'll go to our effects panel and there I will use our own parametric equalizer, right? So if I go to, so if I search for parametric equalizer, I can click and drag this parametric equalizer from here to here. Now to alter the parametric equalizer settings, I have to go to effects control panel. If you don't see, always you can go to window and there you will see effects control. If you click here you will see this option and from here you'll see parametric equalizer have been applied right so if i click on edit i can change the settings suppose if i play it back and whenever you are dealing with i can hear the absence of high end here so i will just increase the high end a little bit and here if i click there i can make the curve a little bit curvy and now if i just click and drag it and then if i play it back audio enhance feature in adobe premiere pro effectively 
So when we use that feature to make our audio a little bit better. And now I'll just decrease the mid section a little bit. It doesn't work perfectly every single. I'll add high fuzz filter. And I'll make it maybe 80 hertz. Sometimes it makes a voiceover a little bit. Here the problem is Adobe has applied a tons of effect on top of my audio clip. So it has made my voiceover a little bit robotic. So to solve the problem, I have to go to essential sound again. And from the enhance option, don't use the enhance mix amount 10. Just decrease it a little bit, maybe 9 or 8.5 will create. So I'll keep it 9 and let's play it back. Sometimes it makes your voiceover a little bit muffled. And whenever you are dealing with the noise, suppose I live just beside a highway, if I just open my window, now you will hear a lot more traffic noise, right? So if you're recording your audio in this kind of scenario, how you can use the enhanced feature in Adobe Premiere. So I think that is sounding better than before. So if I show you the before and after, this is the before. So if I just disable the enhanced speech, that's right. So if you're recording your audio in this kind of scenario, so that is the before. And if I show you the after, that's right. So if you're recording your audio in this kind of scenario, how you can use the end. So that is a extreme example. I believe you will not get that kind of noise when you are recording your video or audio, right? So you don't need to apply the mix amount, maybe nine or 10, you can just use eight or seven. It will sound more natural if you apply less amount of enhance in Premiere Pro. And again, do not forget to add parametric equalizer or whatever equalizer you want to tweak the voice over a little bit because when you apply the enhance, it will make the voice a little bit muffled and you can recover some of the details of your voice using a EQ. That's the simple fix. So I hope you have liked this video. If you have liked this video and learned something new from this one, then you can give me a thumbs up. If you're new to this channel, want to learn Adobe Premiere Pro video editing or DaVinci Resolve, then you can subscribe to this channel to get more awesome videos just like this one. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Until then, goodbye.